pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasasigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, Subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello there, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the brand new session of Contact Center Services for grade 10 students. This program is brought to you by, of course, the DepEd EdTech Unit. And we're grateful for leaders, Sir Mark Antunzi, Sir Maj, those who lead this program, help us uh, make this connection with you guys out there throughout the Philippines. No, actually, I'm here in the Philippines. I just said out there. <laughs> It's just a... Uh, um, Just a sudden thought of mine, and I just said out there in the Philippines, but I'm here in the Philippines. I just want to let you know that. And I want to say hi to our very first uh, two commenters on, I think, on Facebook. Yes, they are from Facebook. Uh, hi to Loi Alexis Prieto. How are you there? I hope you're doing great and enjoying this HLI session. Please comment down below if you're enjoying our session for today. And... Hi to Roby Bihera Serio or Serio. Good afternoon. But watching from Ocampo National High School, SDO Camarines Sur. Okay, so I'm excited for this session. This is our very first session for this quarter, fourth quarter, our very last quarter for this school year. And after this, you are surely going to be ready for your uh, senior high school if you are a great student. But if you are Uh, just watching it to live session for the sake of learning this program and uh, supporting us. We uh, encourage you to keep doing so because this program is surely going to help you in the, in the future if you are seeking for a part-time job uh, when you are in college, right? 
Okay, so let's get right into our discussion for today. I'm sorry. Okay, let me... There you go. Okay, so before I actually proceed to this, I don't want to per forget to say hi to my uh, very supportive principal, Mom Norelin Sinerzi. So thank you so much for allowing me to be part of the ETO Life program. Uh, hi to my co-teachers in Novelera National High School. I hope you're doing great out there. Uh, to Mom Carol Magallanes, our district supervisor. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your support. And our head teachers, Mom Cheat, Mom Melo, Sir Lino, Mom Bernadette, and Sir Melvin. Thank you so much for helping me out and to for help for for providing me time to to do this program. Okay, so let's imagine you pass your interview in the future. And uh, of course, in the interview, you uh, told your interviewer what you are capable of. And once you got hired, it's about time for you to really prove to the company that you are an asset to them. And in order to do that, you got to hit uh, certain goals, objectives, and performance metrics in particular. You got to have to reach that certain level of uh, acceptable performance for a call center agent. And how are you going to do that if you don't know what are those performance metrics? And that is the reason why we're going to discuss today uh, the performance metrics for customer uh, service representative or agent in a call center. So there are two types of uh, metrics that uh, we're going to focus on in this uh, session. And these are productivity metrics and quality metrics. Ayan. So, nandito naman, maintindihan na agad natin, productivity, ibig sabihin nito, may, uh, ito yung tungkol sa dami na nagagawa mo, dami na napaprocess mo at a certain period of time. Let's say, in a whole day, in a whole eight hours, how many calls uh, should you be able to um, what do you call this? Cater. Uh, sa buong araw, di ba? Yung quality metrics naman, ito yung kalidad ng tawag o nung servisyo na binibigay mo, kalidad ng communication mo sa customer, kalidad kung paano mo sinusolve yung mga issues and concerns ng iyong mga customers. Ayan, wala pa tayong uh, additional comments on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. So let's uh, continue on with our discussion. So why metrics are important? So why this metrics matter? So metrics are needed so that contact center managers can quantify performance and results. Okay, so in order for that company to continually uh, serve its client or be in contract with a client, you need, the, the call center company need to reach certain level of performance. And uh, they have to quantify, they have to produce number as a report to the client. And that will ensure that you can keep your job because your company has client to serve. Okay? Balikan natin ang client. Yan yung mga nag outsource Let's say company sa ibang bansa nag outsource dito sa Pilipinas. At yung customer naman, ito yung customer nila na tayo naman yung nag-entertain um, or nag-process uh, ng mga transaction para sa customers nila. So, yun yung distinction ng client sa customer. Alright? So, maritain yung client kapag um, napapanatili yung kalidad at yung dami ng napaglilingkuran mo as a call center representative or ng company mo uh, as a whole, di ba? So, yun yung importansya ng metrics para mako-quantify o mabilang yung uh, performance at may pakita yung resulta ng serbisyo or ng service na ginagawa mo doon sa client mo. Now, uh, when we talk about productivity metrics, we need to quantify them, di ba? Meron tinatawag na quantitative uh, aspect of metrics. Ito yung nabibilang, okay? So, uh, quantitative refers to the number of calls per hour. So, sa loob na isang oras, ilang tawag yung nag nagagawa mo? Uh, average call time, gaano kahaba per tawag? And then, time between calls, gaano kakabilis mag-transfer from one call to another? So, pagkababa, pagkababa mo pa lang ng tawag, magriring na agad yung yung telephone. So, are you able to um, entertain that call right after the call that you process? So, dapat ganun. Dapat ma maganda yung turnover ng mga tawag mo sunod-sunod para mas ma-reach mo yung uh, uh, expected or um, what you call this um, 
yung tawag na dapat mong maproseso sa loob ng isang oras, di ba? Now, uh, when we talk about qualities, qualitative aspects, it refers to content. Okay? Ano yung nilalaman ng tawag? Maganda ba yung flow? Ano yung style na ginamit mo? Nasunod mo ba yung call flow? Di ba? Yung proseso? Nasunod mo ba yung polisiya ng company? Okay? So, hindi pwedeng, you, you, in order to please the customer at that time, you are going to give empty promise. Okay? Just to uh, make your customer feel your customer feels that uh, uh, you are going to solve their problem. But it should be, kapag uh, ginawa mo yun, dapat align siya dun sa policy ng company. Halimbawa, hindi pala pwede mag-refund. Pwede lang mag-replace ng item, pero you promise refund. So are you, how are you gonna do that? You're, you, you're going to uh, disappoint your customer further if that didn't happen because that's not... Uh, um, aligned with the company policy. So, importante ito, ha? Content, style, tapos policy. Okay? Na dapat na susunod mo para matawag na di kalidad yung tawag na pinasas mo. Right? So, I have here uh, a transcript of uh, a call. Actually, this really did uh, happen. No, I asked my, one of my friends in a call center company. Uh, he was my former workmate and Workmate, rather, and uh, we we served together in that company for for seven months, and up until this point, she's still there. So I think she's been there for almost three years now. So this is one of uh, the conversation that she had. Okay, so I'm just gonna read it, and uh, I want you to follow. And uh, later on, we are going to evaluate this call, and we're going to measure the the quality, and uh, how um, productive the agent is, diba? Quality and productivity yung ating titignan. All right, let's start. So let's imagine the, the phone's ringing, and then Tin answered the call, and then she says, Hello, thank you for calling. Happy Healthcare. This is Tin. Can I have your name and date of birth, please? Nicole respond, Hi, this is James Barlow, and my date of birth is 10-25-1980. Typographical error. Anyway, so thank you for that information. How can I assist you today? And I just like to check the status of my wheelchair order, please. Let me assist you with that. Uh, can I have your account number, please? Okay, it's ABC1234. To confirm that, that is Alpha Bravo Charlie 1234. Okay, you have to look out for that. You have to notice that uh, he, she confirms uh, what the caller had just said, especially these numbers. These are important numbers. And there's, uh, the caller responded, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, upon checking your order, was already processed and ready for delivery it will be at your do doorstep within one to three business days just keep your line open for notification okay great thank you you're most welcome and to double check your delivery address on file is 52 griffin drive baldwinville new york 13027 is that correct yes that is correct thank you so much upon checking your order Ay, bumalik. Yes, okay. okay, thank you. Anything else? I can assist you today. Okay, I want you to pay attention to this as well. No, uh, this is uh, one of the most important element when it comes to quality of your call. This is one of uh, the things your QA uh, is going to look for in, in a call that you are going to have in the future. Yang uh, statement and anything else? I can assist you today. And a call responded. That's all. Thank you. You're welcome, James. And after the call, there will be a quick survey, okay? okay so I want you to uh, pay attention as well to this uh, phrase, okay, to this spiel ni, ni Tin, no? Now, after the call, there will be a quick survey. And then a call responded, sure, I will take that. Oh, thank you, James. Again, my name is Tin. Have a good day ahead. Goodbye. And then, bye. And, and then the phone's ringing again, and Tin has to answer that one more time. Thank you for calling Happy Healthcare. This is Tin. Can I have your name and date of birth, please? 
I, this is the St. Bevans. My date of birth is 121192. Good morning. Thank you for that information. How can I help you today? I just like to place an order for a pair of crutches. I'm happy to assist you with that. Before I proceed, can I have your phone number, please? Yes, um, that is A and D three four five six. Confirm that that is Alpha Bravo November Delta three four five six. Yes, that's right. Okay, thank you for clarifying, sir. Is this for a standard crutch or the adjustable one or an adjustable one, rather? Color, I would prefer to have the adjustable one, please. Sure, I also need your height and weight for the right fit. Oh, yes, I'm 5'10 and about 80 kilograms. Thank you for that. And to confirm your delivery address on file is 68 Ashley Avenue, Saintsville, Ohio, 43701. Correct? Yes, that is correct. Let me place your order, sir. Any specific time you want us to deliver your crutches? Anytime in the morning. Okay, thank you. Anything else I can assist you with today? Okay, nakita nyo, no? Uh, binanggit nyo ulit yung spiel na ito. Caller, that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there's a quick survey after the call. Again, my name is Dean. Have a good one and keep safe. Thanks. Bye. Now, so how did this team perform during the call? So there were two calls that we just had, diba? With this team. And then what went well? Okay, as you can see, the, the conversation um, conversations were pretty smooth. And um, yun yung sa nakita natin maganda doon. No? Alam na alam ni Tin yung proseso, yung skills, alam niya. And then yun yung importante, basta alam mo lang yung, yung sasabihin mo. Ayan, oh, hello po, good afternoon, Churro T or RJ Telia from uh, Churro er Ersa. Ulit. Thank you so much, Churro Ersa, for uh, supporting this program for being the one who's always be who's always there for for us here in Italy no and a supportive niche uh, tutor Ursa so so bye bye yung kanyang tutorial later on about hairdressing as well okay so what could have been done better no as part of uh, things to improve no uh, last time no we discussed Edper no I'm gonna explain and then I'm gonna demonstrate and then we're going to evaluate the, the performance and this is what we're doing right now we're asking these questions for us to evaluate the performance of the agent the next one is uh repractice okay after the evaluation there's going to be a repractice and after that there's going to be an evaluation again and that's how you you hone your your call center skills diba? by practicing and i hope you guys would would have your practice uh at home with your family members let's say your siblings or your parents if you don't have your friends if you don't have your family right at your side right now maybe they are abroad or they are working far away from home right now or let me say with your classmates if you are allowed to attend your face-to-face -face classes so there are just a few uh, schools throughout the philippines who are having their face-to-face -face classes right now so if you have a face-to-face -face class right now if you do this uh, practice using the edper approach okay tanda natin edper explain so your teacher would explain or tutor t will explain and then you're, there's going to be a demonstration and then uh after the demonstration there's going to be a practice after the practice there's going to be an evaluation of the practice that's uh, that was done and uh after that we practice of course applying the the the, the things to prove on the, the what could have been done better of uh the the mock call okay now um makikita nyo dito no um ayan, bumalik tayo sorry ayan so in order to really identify what uh went well and what could have been done better diba uh, kailangan natin ng key performance indicator so ano ba yung mga key, dapat nating tingnan sa tawag so again, your productivity metrics measures how effective agents are in using uh, her time. You know, how effective is she in using her time? You know, as you can see, the, the call was just uh, the, the two calls that we had are short and they are 
like the, the transition from the first call to the next is pretty fast as well. So we can see how efficient Tin is and how she was uh, direct and uh, she uh, went right into the transaction right away by asking uh, verifying questions. Diba? Agad-agad. So, wala nang paligoy-ligoy. So, diretso sa transaction. Because the very purpose why your customers are there is for them to process the transaction that they want to have. Let's say, solve the concerns that they have. Or the, the issue they're having about the product or service that your company or that your client is providing to them. So, dapat diretso. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy. Wala nang small talk. Hindi naman tayo lahat magaling sa small talk. Diba? But if you can do that, well, of course, you may, you may do. But remember, that you have uh, the, the productivity metrics. The ibig sabihin, dapat may saktong haba lang yung tawag. At uh, sa unang tawag pa lang, dapat masolve mo na yung concern. At dapat mabilis ka, mabilis mo masolve yung issues para maraming tawag yung process mo in an hour. And eventually throughout the day, di ba? So there are three indicators or metrics under productivity. Ayan, tandaan natin itong mga uh, acronyms na ito. Maririnig nyo ito uh, every time na kapag nasa company na kayo. So, yung average call duration, yung tagal ng oras. So, this tracks the length of time a customer is on the phone. It is usually measured in minutes and exclusive of any pre-call preparation and post-call documentation. Ayan. So, kapag nagpa-process ka, let's say, sales, no may, may, may pre-call preparation ka. And then may post-call documentation as well. You're gonna have to complete uh, the transaction even after the call. So, hindi yun kasama sa ACD. Ang ACD, ito yung gaano ka katagal na pag usap sa customer. Kasi yun din yung may binabayaran yung company mo dun sa, sa uh, gaano ka katagal na nasa tawag, di ba? Yung, yung linya ng telepono tinatawagan yan. So, importante kung gaano, mapaiksi mo, mapabilis mo yung transaction. And then, measuring the duration of a call is a means to improve the efficiency of the service, thereby improving customer satisfaction while controlling costs at the same time. Satisfied yung customer. Pangalawa, uh, nakatipid pa yung company kasi mabilis lang yung tawag, di ba? And then, uh, the second one is the first call or contact resolution. Yung tinatawag na FCR. So, big sabihin sa unang tawag pa lang, nasold mo na yung issue. O na-process mo na yung transaction without any hitch. Di ba? Dapat ganun. So, FCR helps organizations track the efficiency with which their representatives can resolve customer issues. Ayan. Dapat sa unang tawag pa lang, again, na-resolve mo na yung issue. And then, the resolution time. So, nasasolve mo nga sa isang tawag, pero inabot ko naman 3 hours. Isang tawag lang per 3 hours. So, hindi pa rin siya productive. So, that's the reason why we have this. The resolution time or the time to resolution. So, how much time did the agent spend on uh, before he or she solved the issue, di ba? So, yun yung titignan. So, resolution time or TTR for time to resolution helps organizations track the average amount of time spent in resolving customer issues. Ayan. So, makikita natin yung productivity metrics. Ang pinaka-simple lang talaga dyan, matapos mo yung transaction in one call, pagkatapos, mabilis mo matapos yung transaction. Yun yung goal para mas ma, may pakita mo na productive ka and you're pretty efficient in using your time. Now, uh, there are several factors that contributes to TTR. So, ito yung mga skills na dapat mong improve kasi it affects your uh, TTR, yung communication skills, di ba? At yung technical expertise. Let's say, skillful ka, pero hindi naman skilled yung customer mo. Ang hirap magbigay ng instruction kasi hindi niya nasusunod ng step-by-step, uh, step, ba? Dahil sa technical expertise ng customer ay mababa. So, nakaka-pecto rin siya sa TTR. Okay? Pero, dapat, sold mo na yung part mo. Okay? Okay na yung mahina yung customer. Huwag lang ikaw. Kasi pag ikaw yung mahina sa technical expertise, ibig sabihin, hindi ka talaga nahasa during the training and uh, hindi nahasa yung communication skills mo. You were hired but you weren't prepared for the job, di ba? Yun yung masama. Mas mahirap yun. So, kung yung customer ang may issue, well, uh, I think there's a... Hindi mo maiwasan yan kasi customer yun. Pero, hindi naman palaging customer yung may issue. So, dapat yung part mo talaga ma-make ma, ma sure mo na 
okay ka na sa part mo. Okay ka sa communication skills, okay yung technical skills mo. Pangalawa naman, access to relevant resources. So, para ma-overcome mo ito, dapat meron kang extensive product knowledge. Dapat alam na alam mo yung proseso mo, alam na alam mo yung ginagawa mo. Ayan. So, nakadepende lang sa ito. Dapat alam mo sa muhuhugutin yung information na kailangan mo in an instant. And doon papasok yung dapat organize ka. Meron kang folder dyan, whatever questions that you encountered before, whatever issues you encountered before, you have a workflow already ready for that particular issue or concern, di ba? Dapat ganun. Meron ka ng file, di ba? Na nandyan, ready for use anytime you need it. <coughs> And then the next is the caseload of representative. So gaano ba kadaming trabaho yung kailangan mong gawin bago mo matapos yung isang tawag? So gaano ba komplikado yung tawag? So nakaka-apekto din siya. Alright? Um, yun yung tatlong bagay that affects the TTR or the time to resolution. Now, let's proceed with quality metrics. So quality metrics refer to how well agents accomplish their tasks, especially their primary function as the customer's first contact. Ayan. Um, again, no, na, na banggit naman natin kanina, no, titingnan natin yung adherence mo sa policy, tapos yung uh, workflow mo, yung flow ng tawag, and then yung laman ng tawag. Tama ba yung pinaghasabi mo? Maayos ka ba mag-process ng transaction? Okay? So there are several standards uh, in the call that you must uh, meet in order for you to say that the, the call is uh, quality, di ba? Una, greetings. So hindi mo wala yan. So the first time, the moment you lift the phone or the moment you press answer, if you are not using the actual uh, Avaya phone or I don't know what it's called in other call center company, but in our, in my previous company, we called it Avaya. So the moment you lift that Avaya, you have to greet. Okay? Spills naman yan. May spills yan. Kaya dapat hindi ka na mahirapan. So thank you for calling. Happy healthcare. This is RJ. How may I help you today? Ganun lang. And then the next thing that you're going to do is to verify the person's date of birth and address. Oh, at least isa. At least dalawa dito. At least name or date of birth or name and address. Okay? Dapat ma-verify mo at least two verifying information from your customer so that you'll make sure that you're talking to the right person. And the next thing is accuracy of information. That is where policies, standards, or uh, the, the right process, or the right information na nabanggit nga dito, dun papasok. Okay? Dapat accurate ka. Dapat alam na alam mo yung proseso nyo, alam na alam mo yung product na pinuproduce nyo, or binibigay ng client nyo. Next. So standards are those elements that should be included or standard in every call by every representative. So kapag nawala yan, ibig sabihin, nag-fail ka na sa standard. Kapag may nawala, at least isa dun sa element na yun. Okay, so let's go back dun sa tawag. Tingnan natin, no? Na ginawa talaga ni Tin yung standard, no? Hello, thank you for calling. Happy Healthcare. This is Tin. Nag-introduce na ng sarili niya. Bumati siya. And then, can I have your name and date of birth, please? So right away, no? Ginawa niya agad yung verification uh, process, no? nag agad siya sa, sa dalawang ver- verifying information. And then the caller responded, this is James Barlow and my date of birth is 10.25. 80. Nakita nyo, ang bilis lang, no? Na gawa na niya agad yung dalawa. Greetings, tsaka yung pag-verify ng information. And then, thank you for calling Happy Healthcare. This is Dean. Can I have your name, date of birth, please? Ayan, nakita naman natin. Now, so this is one of uh, the important things that you have to remember. Uh, did you know that failing to include an element, especially that of asking your customer if there's anything else you can help him with, is really important. Kasi pwede kang bumagsak sa QA kapag ka hindi mo yan natanong. Ayan, no? So sa QA, ay, dalawa lang naman yung magkukua sa'yo. Bali tatlo actually. Sometimes yung team leader mo, tsaka yung uh, internal QA nyo. Sometimes external QA. Ito yung QA na nang gagaling doon sa client. Diba? Ayan. So babantayan mo yan na dapat lagi mong tinatanong. Is there anything else I can help you with? Ayan. Uh, hi, Dylan. Dylan. Rice is Paragosa. Uh, thank you so much. No? Salamat sa pagsubaybay. Uh, Dylan or Dylan Rice is Paragosa. Okay. Let's proceed. Uh, the number two thing 
about um, quality metrics is that how well you meet the objectives. So objectives are qualitative. They describe something that will be accomplished to different degrees depending on the agent's skill level and on the unique properties of the call, email, or chat session. Now, so what are the typical objectives? So the first thing is that you're going to have to build rapport, okay? build the relationship and trust with your customer. The next thing is uh, you're going to have to handle challenges effectively. So whatever challenges may arise, let's say the customer is really mad, um, irate, diba? So how well do you handle that situation? Yun yung tanong. At yun yung dapat mong gawin. Dapat mong bantayan that you are able to handle that uh, challenge uh, effectively and appropriately as well. And then using empathy as appropriate now. So hindi lang palaging, uh, yes sir, I understand your situation. Of course, you have to really let him feel that you understand the situation by doing uh, the 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 thing that he's asking according to the policy and uh, standard or the procedure of your company and okay so the uh two metrics under quality number one is customer service satisfaction score or csat so maririnig nyo to palagi itong csat na ito uh, ito yung sa last part ng tawag ni Tin, no? Tinatanong niya yung customer niya na mag, magkakandak ng survey or there will be a survey after the call and then one of, uh, actually two of the callers agree that they would take the survey after the call. So the customer service satisfaction score or CSAT intends to measure a customer satisfaction with the received service. Ayan. So CSAT is often determined by a single question in the follow-up service along the lines of how would you rate your overall satisfaction with the service uh, you receive, okay? So ito yung tinatawag na um, uh, NPC o yung Net Prom Promoter Score, okay? Gaano, uh, gaano kataas yung probability that your customer would recommend your service or your product to their friends, relatives, and friends, so, yun yung mini-measure. So, yung isang tanong pa lang na yan is magdedetermine na whether you did your job well in line with the quality standard of the client, di ba? So, kapag ang score niya ay mataas sa'yo, let's say 5, ibig sabihin, willing siya promote yung service or yung product, ibig sabihin, may papasa mo yung visa. Mahirap ito ipasa. Actually, even satisfied customer, they won't give you that high of a score. Uh, sometimes they don't feel like, really don't feel like recommending the service even though it's good. Okay? Ayan. So, mapapansin natin, you are welcome, James, and after the call, there will be a quick survey. Ayan. Tinanong niya yan or sinabi niya. So, what are the questions in the survey? Did the representative clearly explain things? Explain ba ng maayos yung mga bagay-bagay? Did the representative ask if there were any other issues with which you need assistance? Nagtanong ba siya? Yes, di ba? Nagtanong. Maayos naman, maliwanag. Were you satisfied with the customer care you received? Yan yung mga tanong, di ba? Nasatisfy ka ba doon sa service yung natanggap mo? On a scale of 1 to 5, rate your satisfaction 5 being satisfied. Satisfied. Okay? Yan yung mga questions sa uh, survey. And I think uh, if I was the customer, I'm gonna be able to provide um, tin with the uh, with fives dito, di ba? With a resounding yes dito sa mga tanong na ito. Now, uh, pangatlo na actually ito, but na number two pa rin. So, pangatlo, escalation rate. Escalation rate refers to the frequency with which issues are to be brought up to higher levels of management in the course of supporting the customer. So, the best way to handle this is to avoid escalation because this is, this is not uh, a pretty good uh, findings in your uh, QA kapag ka marami kang escalation. Yung maraming TL mo, maraming times when your TL is the one uh, handling the call for you. And that's not the job of your TL. But uh, in case your customer asks uh, that he would like to speak with, uh, with um, your team leader or with the manager, of course, you have to give that 
uh, request to your customer. Uh, pero hindi ito maganda. Hindi magandang tawag dito, findings doon sa kartada mo bilang isang ahente, di ba? Ayan. So, avoid na lang yung escalation rate. Now, uh, there are two reasons why the call is being escalated. The first one is the customer realizes that you don't have the authority to do what he asks. Okay? Pangalawa naman, the customer has become angry. Nagalit na siya sa'yo kasi you're not doing your job well. Ayan. So, at ang pakikipag-usap lang sa team leader at sa manager, makakapagpaayos ng pakaramdam niya. Ayan. Next, uh, these are the preventative steps so that uh, you'll avoid escalation. So make sure that you learn all the needed technical skills and customer uh, service handling skills. Dapat alam mo na yan. Practice projecting confidence. Dapat confident ka using uh, proper tone of voice, proper volume. Diba? Dapat maayos, malumanay, sweet ka magsalita as much as possible. And then be careful not to go overconfident. Pag naman yung sobrang over yung overconfident ka na that you promise too much and then hindi mo naman siya nagawa at the end of the day. So sigurado tatawag siya at pag binalik ang kanya, ang gusto niyang kausap yung manager para ireklamo ka. Ayan. So hindi talaga maganda sa kartada. Yung uh, escalation rate. Dapat mababa lang yung escalation rate. So there are uh, several calls or transactions that are really that are really need to be escalated. Pero, yun nga, sabi ko, hanggat maaari, wag. <laughs> okay, so let's review. So, under productivity metrics, we have ACD or average call duration, first call resolution, and TTR or time to resolution. Under quality metrics, we do have customer service satisfaction score and uh, CSAT. Ayan. Okay. So let's have a quick test. We still have 10 minutes to go. And I think we're going to cut this off at uh, 2.15 because uh, my wife and uh, her partner on e 2 Life Front Office Services for Grade 9 students uh, is going to start at uh, 2.20. So I have to cut this off by 2.15. So let's go fast. And if you guys have your learning module, you can get it. Uh, but if you don't have, you can just grab a pen and paper or answer in these questions via the comment section below. Or write your answer in the comment section below. All right. So the choices are above. Uh, above and uh, these are the questions. So number one, it refers to how well agents accomplish their task, especially their primary function of customer contact. Okay. Pick your answer. Let's go. Number two, it measures how effective the agents are in the use of their time, how efficient they are in maintaining the balance of the various aspects of their jobs. All right. You already, uh, did you already write your answer? Hope so. Okay, number three, these are elements that should be included or are present in every call by every representative. Okay, let's see. Pick your answer. All right, so let's see if there are answers in the comment section. All right, number four, uh, it intends to measure a customer's satisfaction with the service received, which is... Uh, usually expressed as a percentage between 0 and 100 with 100% as a completely satisfied customer rating. What is that? You done? All right. Number five, this evaluation is done by listening to calls and following the criteria listed in the monitoring form. Mm -hmm. What is that? Let's go. Number six, it, it tracks the length of time customers on the phone. It is usually measured in minutes and exclusive of any pre-call preparation or, or post-call documentation. All right, let's go. Number seven, it refers to tracking the average amount of time spent resolving customer issues. Let's get number eight, okay? 
this refers to the frequency with which issues are to be brought up to higher levels of management in the course of supporting the customer. All right, so number nine, it includes building rapport with the customer handling challenges effectively and using empathy as appropriate when measuring objectives, the representative assesses how well they were met. And last but not least, it helps organizations track deficiency with which their representative can resolve customer issues. I just laugh at myself because I didn't have to say last but not least. <laughs> okay, uh, have you chosen your answer already? I hope so. It's 2.14 right now, and let's get right into the correct answers. Here are the correct answers. I want you to take a screenshot of that, and then you can check or compare whether your answers are correct or not. And yeah, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much, guys, for accompanying me for the last uh, 40 minutes or more or less. I don't know. And uh, you can catch me up on Deped, uh TV uh, by IBC13 or the Deped TV official YouTube channel, Deped TV official Facebook page. And follow this e light tutorial every Friday from uh, 2, no, from 1.40 in the afternoon or sometimes I started I start early at 1.30 until 2.20 in the afternoon or right now until 2.15 in the afternoon. And once again, I'm Tutor T. Thank you so much for being with me this time. And see you guys in the upcoming HLI tutorial with TLE, Contact Center Services for grade 10 uh, students. Bye, guys. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!